empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Good day and you're very, very welcome as we gather in this weekend of September 12th, 14th, and we celebrate the 24th Sunday of the year. We thank God for the graces and the blessings which he has given to us. In a special way, we pray for those who received their leave and cert results last Monday. We pray God's grace and blessing upon them as they go forward into third level education, apprenticeships or whatever, that the Lord would be with them and that the Lord would bless them and keep them always in his ways. For those times in our lives where we have failed the Lord, remembering the great forgiveness in today's gospel, the parable about forgiveness, we just ask the Lord to forgive us and that we would be enabled to forgive one another. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You lead us towards the way of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all of our hearts, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Resentment and anger, these are foul things, and both are found with the sinner. The one who exacts vengeance will experience the vengeance of the Lord, who keeps strict account of sin. Forgive your neighbour the hurt he does to you, and when you pray your sins will be forgiven. If a person nurses anger against another, can they then demand compassion from the Lord? Showing no pity for the person like himself, can they then plead for their own sins? Mere creature of flesh, he cherishes resentment. Who will forgive him his sins? Remember the last things and stop hating. Remember dissolution and death, and live by the commandments. Remember the commandments, and do not bear your neighbour ill will. Remember the covenant of the Most High, and overlook the offence. The Word of the Lord. Our response today is, the Lord is compassion and love. 
Lord is compassion and is love. My soul gives thanks to the Lord. All my being bless his holy name. My soul gives thanks to the Lord and never forget all his blessings. Response. The Lord is compassion and love. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. Response. The Lord is compassion and love. His wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. Response. The Lord is compassion and love. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. Response. The Lord is compassion and love. The second reading is taken from the letter to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord so that alive or dead we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. The word of the Lord. Our gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents, but he had no means of paying, so his master gave orders that he should be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet, Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii. And he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled all that debt of yours 
when you appealed to me? Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger the master handed him over to the torturers, till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you, unless you each forgive your brother or sister from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel is about receiving forgiveness, forgiveness of the Master. And then in turn, your call and my call to forgive others. And sometimes this is not easy. I'm thinking back again to that beautiful hymn, to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Living God falling fresh in me. Melt me, mold me, guide me, O Lord. And we need the power of the Spirit in our hearts to do this. It reminds me too of a little story from the East, a wise story. And it's about a man who hated one particular person in such a vengeant way. And he was at the, he saw him and he was at a very hot fire. He bent down and he caught the very hot coal in his hand and he threw it at the person. And what would you think happened? It missed the target and it fell to the ground. What, what damage did it do to the man's hand, the palm of his hand? It left it very sore. And that is somehow how it is with us too. If we fail to forgive, it burns deeply into our hearts and it hardens our hearts. But we can only forgive through the power and the love of God in us, melting us, molding us, guiding us, ruling us, living by the good news, of Jesus, what Jesus says to us. We profess our faith as we pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, through God from through God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pause in prayer, thanking God for the gift of our togetherness in prayer today, this weekend. May the Lord bless us, our families near and far. Keep us always in his care. Lord, hear us. I lift this candle here for those who have done reading search. Results came out last Monday. And we pray that Christ's light and Christ's love would guide them 
in their journey forward, in their journey with the Lord, that they may know your, your presence and your power, Lord, in their lives. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are sick at this time, suffering in mind, body, and soul. Lord, we pray that the healing power of your love would touch their lives. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are affected by the coronavirus in so many different ways. Lord, we pray your grace and blessing on all of us. Keep us free and safe from this pandemic. Lord, hear us. For a few moments we pause in prayer and we place our own individual needs before the Lord. Maybe a family uh, or a friend, a family member or a friend is in need of a prayer at this time. We bring them to mind or bring the situation to mind and ask the Lord to bless it. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers. There are many more prayers which lie deep in our hearts and in our lives. We make them all as we pray this Mass today. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread which we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favour on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honour of your name may serve the salvation of all peoples, through Christ and Jesus our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat of this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dermot, our Bishop, and all who are called to ministry in the church. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in the Father's great love and the Father's great forgiveness, we ask God our Father forgive, to forgive us in the manner that we forgive one another. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And at this time in our Master's to pray a little for those who may be lacking peace at this time. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Mm -hmm. 
My Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my body and into my soul. Since, Lord, at this time I am unable to do that, I know that you are with me spiritually. You are in my heart. You are in my life. I embrace you, knowing that you are there with me. Never permit me to be separated from you anymore. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment of my life. How precious is your mercy, O God. The children of people seek shelter in the shadow of your wings. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession in our minds and in our bodies, so that its effects of not own desires may always prevail in us through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and your families and your community wherever they may be at this time. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.